Hello and welcome friends, my name is Frenzy and we are taking a look at Atlas which releases tomorrow. Um, that is a Wednesday, December 19th, 2018 and I am really really excited for this game. Um, this is the one minute gameplay trailer that they revealed at the Game Awards show and it kind of took everyone by surprise because they're promising so much. So I'm going to go over the features list and this is not a video that I normally like to do. I don't like to like unnecessarily hype people up about a game but there's so many things that they're they're promising this game and it looks really interesting and really cool so i want to talk about it and i thought what better be, what better way to get excited than to make a video about it <laughs> so that's what we're doing here and there's there's so much going on here and if you want to really watch this video without me stammering and blabbering over it um, i will put a link in the description so you can watch it on your own but there's just so much happening there's pirates there's treasure there's uh salvaging there's monsters there's amazing ship combat going on and it's just it's a lot um and so kind of just to make this a little bit easier we're actually gonna go i'm gonna go ahead into the kind of feature list of the game that is on steam right now you can check it out for yourself and so we'll just kind of see see what's in the game um so what i want to do here is just kind of break down the this huge set of features that um they're they're listing and saying that that should be in early access doesn't say a launch necessarily early access but they should be in at some point it's it's ambitious and so I, what i would say is just be cautious uh, i'm gonna buy it because I, I really think it has the potential which is you know what i'm all about these these days with games is you know give me something that has a lot of potential that has that could be really big game that could be really fun that could be really cool um, with a lot of neat features and this does say that it's going to offer a lot of these features and so i, I hope this is the case and so i kind of want to go through this um hopefully quickly and just give you my opinion as a arc player as somebody who has played mmos um and just kind of just kind of break, break it down um and just kind of give you some of my opinions as well of, of things that I, I i hope and that i think they will do based on some of the things that they're saying again this is all opinion of course so take it as will um it's not law it's just based on some experience and based on hope hope i guess hoping what they do um and the first thing here is again it is 40,000 players exploring um, the globe simultaneously. So this is an MMO. It's not ARK, you know, where a lot of games say, oh, it's an MMO and it's like a 100-player server. It's supposed to, it sounds like it's to be a true MMO, which is great. That's what we want. <laughs> um, but let's uh, go ahead and keep going down and uh, kind of seeing what else. Um, this is kind of more just uh, just explaining the game, not really telling us too, too much. Um, you know, there's going to be salvage and recovery and loot and procedurally generated treasure maps. That's pretty cool. Um, quest lines, things like that. And here, here's something. There's going to be 700 unique, unique land masses across 45,000 square kilometers. That is a huge. PUBG map is um, the biggest one. Biggest ones are 8 by 8 kilometers. And some of that is water. This is 45,000 square kilometers. Um, I believe PUBG is uh, not even close to that. It's an 8x8 map. This would be... I don't even know. I can't even do the math. There's going to be 10... There's going to be... Um, where is it? 10 different um, district world regions. So I'm curious if this is going to be like biomes. If maybe... Maybe this is a way to encourage trading. If you set up in one district and there's only certain resources. In order to get some of the resources you need for what your, your ship or whatever it may be. Then maybe you're going to have to trade. Which I, I hope is the case. I hope there's incentive to trade and not just be the biggest, baddest guild. And you get everything. Hopefully they need to trade and cooperate with others in order to get or pirate what they want you know hopefully that's that's the goal um so this sounds pretty cool construct the ship of your dreams plank by plank right so hopefully these aren't just kind of pre-designed similar to sea of thieves which was just these preset ships there's minimal customization um and if it is a lot of it was cosmetic this sounds like you can actually build it um you can where you want the sails where you want the planks where you want the gun ports every single structure piece has physical weight and material and they can function how you want so hopefully um and it does mention having to build dry docks which sounds really cool um and kind of working your way up through the ships to the point where you could get a ship a titanic galleon capable of transporting hundreds of crew which that must be an absolutely massive ship which sounds so much fun so much fun and here's kind of the cool thing um that i that i think kind of connects them with this is if you don't have a hundred person guild um, maybe you just have a small group of friends that you want to play with. You can even maybe you can play solo. If you can recruit AI to kind of be part of your ship, to be part of your crew. This is, I think, going to be hopefully a big balancing feature for uh, potentially, potentially 
for, you know, guilds that are maybe a little bit smaller. Hopefully they can still compete with some of the bigger guilds if the AI works well, if everything works kind of how we hope. What, what I'm kind of hoping it is is here's another big thing. MMO scale uh, character progression, 15 disciplines, which sounds like classes um, with over 300 skills. So what I'm, I'm hoping is that there's going to be like 15 different skill trees um, is what it kind of sounds like or classes, but you can put points in anything. So you can be kind of like a hybrid. You can put, you know, certain points to, you know, kind of, you know, be unique and kind of multi-class, which will give some variety. Um, but I, I do hope there's kind of like these disciplines, meaning there's, there's almost like classes, like you could be a merchant um, gathering, trading kind of, um, build if that's what you want to do like if you're not interested in the combat but you still want to be in the pvp sphere and have some kind of impact um i hope there's you know the guy that's really ship oriented he can man the cannons um he can you know steer the ship really well and get more speed out of it or you know something um i hope there's a role for everybody because that's that's to me what makes a good mmo is there's a role for everybody you don't have to be the hardcore pvp jump on the ship board it fight duel you know those types of things which i want to be because that's just fun um, but I hope there's some kind of role for everybody. That's that's my goal. That's my hope. Um, they mentioned, too, extensive character customization. Um, hopefully, you know, Ark was pretty bad. <laughs> character customization was very bland. Um, you could do some really dumb things with your characters. <laughs> like, yeah, just, just not cool. Uh, so hopefully this is, it says, you know, if somebody exists in the real world, uh, they should be creatable in Atlas. I hope that's true because that'll be really fun. That'll be really deep. That'll give a lot of variety. Um, and here's something that kind of they throw in at the end, which should be huge in a game because we don't really see much of this. <laughs> Best in class, dynamic hair growth. Sounds awesome. Uh, hopefully beard growth as well um, for the guys out there. Um, or the ladies, you never know. Um, <laughs> and a real-time aging system allows systems sorry allow you to get old and pass on your legacy this would be so cool if you could get really high up there and then you get older if you don't drink the fountain of youth which i mentioned as well um and then you could pass on your skills to like another character like someone like uh like your child or whatever um would be really kind of fun really interesting mechanic i hope we see this because that would be really fun really interesting to see how that kind of plays out um, getting a quest system. I, I don't think I don't expect the quest system again. It sounds like it's going to be procedural type quests. Um, maybe there's going to be NPCs. There's obviously kind of boss battles we saw in the gameplay trailer, things like that. But I really hope the emphasis is on more so the player versus player or just the player interactions. I think that's going to be a big part of the game. If it is a true MMO, that's a huge part of an MMO. Intense action, obviously this is going to be a big part because the melee combat in Ark was bad. It was it was really bad. I think there was a block. I think there was attack. It was laggy. It was desync. It was, it was just not fun. Not a good experience. It was just bland. <laughs> it was very, very bland combat. Um, so if there's blocks, parries, dodges, character motion, optional shields, it sounds like it's going to bring directional attacks. It sounds like it could be very skill-based, and that would be something that I would love to do. Like... <laughs> Boarding a ship, you know, shooting, you know, shooting your guns off and then switching into melee. And really, if you could become good at it, you know, which hopefully this is what it sounds like, then, you know, you could be a force to be reckoned with. You could be a really skilled player who takes advantage of that. All right. This one is what I'm probably most excited about because you do not see this frequently, particularly in MMO, particularly in honestly any game. Um, and it's something that it really excites me from a company blame territory, apply taxation and behavior rules, behavior rules, which you own. So this could be really, really, really kind of what makes the game for me, honestly. So say you form a government um, with your friends and you expand, you become big. Um, and then people start to want to come to your territory because you're a safe haven. You're, you're, a, um, you know, you are a country for lack of a better term. Um, you know, people want to live there. People want the safety. People want the resources. Uh, people want to be able to spend their money. Um, they want to live there. And so maybe you tax them. Maybe there's behavior rules. You may not murder people, right? Things like this. You may not pirate people. Um, or maybe you live in a pirate haven and murder is okay. You know, things like that. Things that are just, that could make it so cool. The social systems and involved with that. That seems really hard to program into a game. I'm sure, I'm sure it's very possible. Don't get me wrong, other games have done things to some extent like this, but typically not an MMO. 
Creature is great and small. They gotta be careful of this. Ark had a lot of issues with taming. First of all, it was boring in my opinion, right? There wasn't much skill. There wasn't much. It was really just time. It was a time sink. You'd sit there for one, two, three, eight hours. I tamed a dinosaur in Ark once. I kid you not. I spent all night doing it in the summer. Um, so I really hope they're careful with this. I hope it's interesting. However they do it. I hope it's skill based. However they do it. And I hope it's, um, they mention breedable utilitarian farm animals. I hope that this is the major thing of taming and breeding, um, you know, for, for economic purposes, for, uh, trading purposes, for crafting and cooking. Um, oops, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I hope that this is the kind of major push, um, that the game goes in. I, I hope it's, it's more of this than rather than the, um, monsters of legend and things like that. Um, cause it, it, it could get out of hand, especially with like the bigger groups. If they're able to put in more time with more people to tame Krakens or dragons or drakes or whatever it is, um, then it could be really, really bad. So I hope this is limited. I hope it's like, yeah, our guild has a Drake and we put in a lot of time and a lot of effort. And I hope that is, I hope it's minimal. I hope it's again, more of the, um, you know, this, this, this area, the, the, the breedable kind of like cows and sheep and things like that. Uh, build your empire again very very cool this i know a lot of my friends um are extremely interested in the building aspect again the idea of building like a, a castle on top of a, a cliff side on an island oh that sounds so cool um it just sounds so exciting um improved approved building it sounds like over arc um <laughs> uh beasts of burden um here's something that i love in games when there's cooking system that is deep and has an impact on the game mods okay so here is the thing about mods right it's it's i think it's it's tricky you have to be careful with mods and i love mods mods are what make many of my favorite games the best but with an mmo it's 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 tricky because sometimes you split the user base people that want to go play with the mods because you know monitors make awesome things um, but sometimes it can be tricky with an MMO because you can split your user base because, you know, a lot of people are going into different servers, which they say they're going to have, um, you know, unofficial atlases. And how big can they be? You know, if is it going to be the full world? Is it going to be like a small subsection of it, like Ark, like an Ark style island? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds really cool. Um, I just hope the the mods, like I said, the mods in MMO... If they really want this to be an emote, it's, it's it's weird. I think it's good. It's not a bad thing. It just, it, they do need to probably be careful with it. So, I'm not going to go into the history too much. Um, I If you're interested in the history, um, check it out. The story, the lore could be really interesting. I will say the only thing that is perhaps of some interesting. Uh, they mentioned continents that kind of got like sunken by a god long ago. Um, and that the latest generation of Pathfinders, which is, I guess what we are, um can recover heart pieces for themselves and they'll be faced with the same choice whether attempt to restore the old world or build a new better one so i kind of wonder this is what here's what i think what this is um from a gameplay mechanic maybe there's some epic quest line that you can do very very hard very time consuming where you can either i don't know i think this sounds like a reset option which is going to be interesting um I don't know. I don't. I just don't know. I don't want to speculate too much on something. On too much on something that sounds like more of like a narrative element. But maybe this is their solution to groups getting too big. Maybe this is how they're going to do like yearly or bi-yearly or you know like server wipes. That way, you know, certain groups maybe don't get too powerful. I don't know. But th this sounds like that's that's what that, that, that could be potentially. Um, speculating. So yeah. Again, I hope you guys. I hope you guys um enjoyed this. Um, again, there is a lot here. <laughs> there is a lot to unpack here. Um, normally, I don't do these videos um, because, I don't know, I feel like they can be a little bit redundant, potentially. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this. I I'm excited. And please, be cautious about this game. Um, watch people streaming it. You can watch me stream it if you want. Uh, just shamelessly plugging myself. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, watch whoever you want. Check it out. Take a look. Be patient with it. I'm sure day one is going to be every almost... Every single MMO that has launched has had issues at the beginning, so I wouldn't say judge it initially based off that. But I will say, um, if you're if you're not sure about it, if you're cautious, which you should be, um, wait, 
just wait a minute you know let 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 it develop a little bit give it a couple months and if it's looks like it's in a good place if these features are really here and they're not just superficial or not in the game <laughs> um then you know get it if, if it interests you um and i did just put up I'm, i am gonna actually shamelessly promote myself again i did put up a blog post um recently that went into you know don't let people kill your hype on a game i'm so hyped for this game and it may completely bust i'm okay with that i it, i've never let that stop me from getting hyped about another game ever um <laughs> i've gotten more cautious maybe but um don't don't let people like you know there's i've seen a lot of posts about this game videos saying oh it's gonna be crap it's you know over promising it's it's gonna be this it's gonna be that it's gonna be arc it's gonna be bad blah 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 but get excited about games get, get excited about it. honestly i think that's the most important thing is just really get excited about it get involved in it um enjoy it you know enjoy the hype you know get hyped up for a game that's potentially gonna do things that maybe a game hasn't done before i think that's extremely cool and i think we should encourage developers to do that even if it doesn't pan out you it ends up being a bust get excited for it you know because this hopefully pushes developers to do things that are going to be more exciting more adventurous um, more out of the box which this game is very out of the box i think <laughs> based off what i just read here so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe comment all that good things that you normally hear in a video definitely comment because i'd like to hear what you guys think about this um, this upcoming game and thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye